How's it going guys? I'm Ben. I'm Jason. And we are two of the creators of the game Hantis. And we are here today to give you the bare bones essentials you need to set up and get down on some serious hantillations. That's right. Let's do it. First of all, what you need to know about Hantis is that it incorporates a lot of the basic fundamentals found in many other popular sports. But it's most similar to that of table tennis or ping pong. Well, maybe ping pong on roids. Imagine one table split into four, creating lanes in between. Each lane is three feet wide, and it allows players to move around and make plays with their partner. Now, before the ball is served, the person at the table directly beside of you is always going to be your teammate. And it's up to you and him or her to make a play to strike either one of the opposing players' tables. Service! Much like a lot of other racket and paddle sports, Hantis requires a serve in order for the play to even begin. Now, unlike a lot of other sports, Hantis doesn't use any paddles or rackets to hit the ball. What you're gonna use is your hands, head, or your feet. You can use any part of your body in this game. Now, first I'm gonna demonstrate the straight serve by showing you how to hit the ball from the server's table to the table directly in front of it. I'm gonna hold the ball in my left hand and hit the ball out of my left hand onto my table so that it crosses the gap and goes to the table right in front of me. Now I'm gonna demonstrate a cross serve. Cross serve is very similar to the straight serve. However, you have to hit it a little bit harder so that it can cross the gap in between all four tables. Now let's try that in slow motion. Now that's a beginner serve. Once you get that down, try out some of these. Using them hits. All right, once the ball hits the service table, all the players can move anywhere on the court. So it's up to you and your partner to make a play to hit the opposing player's tables. You and your partner, the person directly beside you, are each allowed two hits on the ball, but it's only allowed to hit each of your tables once before it has to be returned back to the opposing team. You can use these strikes in any combination, so feel free to be as creative as possible. But remember, you do have to strike the ball. There's no cupping or carrying. So none of this. It's not gonna count. And that is all you need to know to get started playing and start enjoying what people all around the world are calling the best game ever. But if you want to be a true Kung Fu Ninja master hantillator, you're going to have to check out the rule book and get your tricks up on our level. Oh, and if you don't yeah. know, now you know. <laughs> <laughs>